Hi, Macy here. Welcome back to my Google Cardboard Unity project. This is the third episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to show the focus point all the times. From the example Google gave it to us, we are only able to see the focus point once our vision is on top of the UI. And for the purpose of our game design, we actually need to see the focus point all the times in order to know where our target is and if it's on the target or not. Let's get started. First, we actually need an image for the target. You can use the existing one from the project. However, I would like to create a new one. So I just create a new project in Photoshop and uh, it needs to be transparent. So I just disable the white, unlock it first. Disable the white and use a shape. There is a target shape that apparently it's uh, came with Photoshop. So I just choose the target one. It's here. And then just press shift, start from the corner. So you're gonna make the perfect, perfect ratio. And press, releasing it, and then move it to the center a bit. So if you can't see it, you can just uh, fill it with black, then you can definitely see that. Just need to change the color to black. Then you can see the targets here. I just want it to be centered a little bit more. Right, left a bit. Now here it is, we have a transparent target. I usually save for web devices. File, save for web, and save as PNG, and save it. Now I am back in Unity. I saved the target image in the images folder. When you click on this target image, I have changed the texture type to sprite and UI. It should be default to texture, but for our purposes, we are using the new UI system. So we have to select 2D and UI. Sprite mode is single since we only have one image on this sprite and we can use multiple once we have more images that's coming up. Actually adding a target point in cardboard camera is actually very, very, very easy. We just click the cardboard main and open this. We just need to have one target point that always follows the camera. What's the easiest way to do this? Just create a game object that's included in the camera so you will always follow the camera and we just create an empty game object. I'm just gonna call it target. Why I don't create the 2D sprite right away? Because sometimes we need to enable or disable the 2D sprite to hide it. If we have this 2D sprite as a main game object, when we disable and enable, it will just add more layers, more troubles when it comes to that kind of active or inactive states. Then we just create a 2D object, just create a sprite. So we'll just call it image. So here we just select the sprite and the one we've got is called target. And you don't really see it yet because it's at zero. So when you click the scene tab, just press F, you will see the target is very big and it's here. And we just need to make sure it is within the view of the camera, just press option, I'm in your Mac, and just drag the blue arrow, and just select the target, and drag the blue arrow. So in the game scene, you will see the target, oh, it's really, really big. We can drag it further, or also we can scale down the size of the target. I think it's really big for our purposes. We can actually just scale down the target. I like it smaller, so change it to 0 0.2 and it's going to be a small target. That's how we are going to present the target. So right now if you click play and press the option key, you will see the target point. It's always showing. And it's always in the center. Now again, 
we want to make it a little bit fancier. We want to, you know, like show the target on and off shows that you are in target because we are not necessarily going to end like color our enemy. So let's stop the play. Let's write some script. We just need to create a script folder. Right click on the assets. Click create folder. I would just say scripts. In here, I will just create a script. We will just call it mouse target. You can right click, click sync, Muno develop project. Now it's synced. Then just go back to Unity, double click on the script. Here we are going to animate the mouse target. By animating the color of the mouse target, we need to use the Unity new UI engine. And we just need to use using Unity engine and dot UI. So this will bring all the features that's from the new UI system. Now we just need to find where the target is, right? We need to find the type, what type that is. So go back to Unity, click on image. So this is a type of sprite render. We just say public sprite render. So yeah, please let me know if anybody can help me fixing this spacing issue in Muno Develop. I will be really appreciated. It has been dragging me crazy for a very long time. And public sprite render, I would just call it target sprite. So what is going to happen once this is being chosen? It has to change color. Where can we know when the target is on our object? After I did a bit looking around the project, so all the cubes in the project, they're using a script. When you click on the prefab of the cube, they're using a script that is called teleport. So we can just edit the script. Then here, you can see they have an update on the raycast. When they are in focus, they will change the color. So what we need to do is when this particular object is being selected, you need to tell the mouse target to change the color as well. So in the mouse target script, we need to have a public function that allows other class to call it to change the color of the sprite render. So we just delete the update, we don't need it. We're just gonna call public void target chosen. It will pass in a boolean point. And we'll call it chosen. So if chosen is true, Then target sprite dot color equal color dot white. Else, it will just change the color to red. That's pretty much it. And how can the teleport script knows the existence of the mouse target since we only have one instant of the mouse target, we can create a public instant of this class. How we do that? First, we do a private static mouse target and we will call it my instance. I use this all the time, it works perfectly and yeah, it's a very useful little trick to do and then public static mouse target instance 
So pretty much it's like this with the lowercase n i, i n s t a n c e. And what it will do is you will get and return my instance. And at the start, we need to instantiate the my instance. So if my instance doesn't exist, my instance equal this. We'll just make the spacing look a bit better. And then in teleport, once it is in focus, you just need to call the only mouse target in the whole scene. So what you will need to do is if mouse target dot incidents not equal no. And here is what we do. We just gonna call the mouse target dot instance dot. So target chosen just pass is look at. Let's test it out. See what's gonna happen. Unity. Let's go to Unity. Don't forget your touch script. Just click add component, and add the mouse target script. Drag over the sprite to the target sprite. And uh, here, let's see how it goes. Press the option on the PC, the L button, and use mouse drag around. It seems to not quite work. Why it's like that? Because we actually have multiple cubes here. All of them are actually all sending like messages to the mouse target. It's kind of like screwed up. Like everyone is telling them, oh, I'm not on. So we actually need to have a solution for that. The solution is we need to have a flag saved in each individual teleport script to tell them if this cube is previously being selected, then send the unselect message to the mouse target. Now let's just add a flag. So it's private boolean, my previous chosen. Just want to format it a bit better. Let's go back to the script. We go back here. This is where we change the color. So we say if is look at is true. Then what we do is we turn the flag to on, right? My previous chosen equal true, and then set the mouse target accordingly. Else, if my previous chosen is true, so if you want to set it off, you actually have to be previously selected. So if you actually previous being selected, your previous chosen will just be false. So because you only can shut off the target once, then we're passing the same value again to the mouse target, and this actually will turn off. The target selected color in the correct way. Let's see if this worked this time. Let's click the play button, pressing Option or L, and just move around. See the mouse turned white right away because it's in target. Move away, turn red, white, red, white, red, and move around. White, red, white, red. Even works with very small space, which is really good. Let's make a bill on the cardboard itself. See if it works. And we see the red targets all the time. And when it's roll over, the green target turns white, and turns green, turns white. We still see the UI cursor once it's over the cursor. So that's pretty much what we wanted. I hope you enjoyed this video and your target points is actually working all the time. See you next video. I will always keep you guys posted on my project. Bye for now. Here, I'm going to show you the gameplay. The user will be holding the cardboard in the center. 
the whole gameplay will be happening around him in a 3D space. All the enemy will show up in the nearby area. The user 